Hi guys, in this video I will be showing you a very short proof that the number e is irrational. Credit for this proof goes to cantorsparadise.com, link in the description. Now we are going to use a proof by contradiction, so let's assume that e is equal to p divided by q where p and q are integers. Since e itself is not an integer, we must have that q is larger than 1. Then q factorial times e is clearly a whole number. So therefore, q factorial times e minus 1 over 0 factorial minus 1 over 1 factorial minus 1 over 2 factorial dot 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 all the way up to minus 1 over q factorial is equal to q factorial times e minus q factorial over 0 factorial minus q factorial over 1 factorial dot 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 all the way up to minus q factorial over q factorial and since every single one of the terms of it is a whole number it itself is also a whole number but by using the equation e is equal to 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial, etc., we see that q factorial times e minus 1 over 0 factorial minus 1 over 1 factorial, etc., all the way up to minus 1 over q factorial is actually equal to q factorial times 1 divided by q plus 1 factorial plus 1 divided by q plus 2 factorial, etc., forever. Since we already showed that this is an integer, we can cause a contradiction if we can show that this is actually less than 1. Note that q factorial times 1 over q plus 1 factorial plus 1 over q plus 2 factorial, etc. is equal to q factorial over q plus 1 factorial, etc. which is less than or equal to 1 over q plus 1 plus 1 over q plus 1 squared plus 1 over q plus 1 cubed, etc. But this is just a geometric series, and so we can use the geometric series formula to find that this is equal to 1 over q plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 over q plus 1, which is equal to 1 over q plus 1 divided by q over q plus 1, which is equal to 1 over q. But this implies that our sum is less than 1, which contradicts that it is a whole number. So therefore, we have reached a contradiction, and so e must be an irrational number. Thanks for watching.